Hello and welcome back. So in today's tutorial we will be looking on some fun fact with regards to the ServiceNow instance. Okay. So on ServiceNow instance there is a great UI uh, UX tricks. Okay. Which only few people are, I think only two to three percent of the people are aware about. Okay. And it's about there is a field decoration. You can do the field decoration with almost 300 plus hidden icons. Okay. On the form. So service now contains a hidden treasure of almost 300 plus icons that can be used to convey better visual distinctiveness okay, to your user uh, using bookmarks, service portal and system info message. These attributes can be used to ensure that the contextual message receive more attention and to facilitate navigation in your instance. Okay, So how to get so this icon is used by service now itself um in terms of all the so as you can see this particular application icon it's an also it's also an icon it's this star is also an icon this clock is also an icon this is also an icon so from where this i all icons are coming all and can we use this icon outs for our own benefit yes we can use it out okay and we will see that only in the today's tutorial so first of all how to get this icon how can we see this icons over here if I type icons, okay, we can't see anything out of it, right? So there is nothing called icons over here, okay? These are the icons, okay? So how to navigate to these icons, okay? People are not aware of. So the simplest way to move to these icons, okay, and to get more clarity on this icon is like you can simply take the base URL, okay, of the instance. So I will take this base URL, Control C, or put it Control V. This is how I am navigate, okay? Because it gives me a clear understanding, okay? And you can type styles, okay? Slash retina icon underscore icon slash retina icons dot html, okay? If I had enter now, boom. So these are all the icons which you can use in your or UI in the form UI. So, do you want to know is there any icon which is used which you have seen in the past but you don't know that it is coming from here? Yes, there are some scripts. Okay, I will show you some dumb script. Okay, demo script. I remember, yeah, it's on incident table. So, on incident table, when a VIP user, so on this user table on a user account, there is a flag called VIP user. If that flag is enabled, okay, then on the left side of the user or caller person, there will be a VIP box will appear, okay. So let show, let me show you that. Okay, so I will go to incident dot list. So I am an admin, right? Okay. I was but I was not an I was not having a VIP owner. I was not I was not getting treated as a VIP owner. So I made myself as a VIP owner, right? You can see this icon. I just recently gave it. How I gave it? So on the system administrator, if I go to my user profile, so on my user profile, um, there is. Wait, I will show you configure form layout mm -hmm. people are uh, not aware about this kind of features okay which are there in its instance so let me show you in depth so here we have a flag called VIP okay sorry for my mouse okay actually it's behaving pretty weird today okay so Ah, it's not mouse okay so now this is a checkbox okay which tr now which makes the instance treat me like a VIP now so if I open this instance incident out okay so whenever incident is created by a VIP user who is having flag enabled VIP so it shows the symbol and all these icons will be visible on the left side of the field okay now how to use this icon okay how how we can use this api which apis we can uh, will enable us to use this icon so to achieve this add this on a U of ui form okay so we will be using glide form api so what glide form api does first of all let's understand this 
So according to the service talk dialogs, the Glide form API provides methods to customize form. Okay, and it's a gform.js uh, JavaScript class. Okay, which gives you all kind of uh, methods to m decorate or to validate anything on the form. Okay, and from that particular API also we'll be using a function called add decoration. Okay, so let's take one example. So for the example purpose i will take sub category only okay so you can treat it as antivirus so if it's a sub category is antivirus we will show some virus icon okay over there and if it's email anything other than it than it then we will treat with some different symbol okay so let's try to customize it out so what i will do i will go to the incident right click configure client script okay and let's make on change client script okay so what i will do i will give essence service now okay i will give it hidden icons okay uh, table is incident desktop okay type we can make it um on change okay on change of what let's make it on subcategory itself okay we will make it on subcategory now over here we can write a code okay Ki if g underscore form dot get value okay, get value of what we want to get oh no need of this also okay we already have new value right so if new value is equal to equal to i think the backend name is antivirus only t virus okay then what we want to do so how to add the decoration it's like g underscore form dot add decoration so as you can see it takes three attributes okay field name icon and title so the field name starts um, states that on which field you want to apply decoration so for our instance it will be a subcategory right the second one is icon so it tells us that out of the all the 300 plus icons okay which icon you want to put beside the field okay so we will decide on that and the title is like acts like a helper text so on that when we hover on the icon right so it will give so if you can also throw some information key why this icon is available over here right so let's do step by step let's go step by step first of all let me see the back and name of subcategory because i'm not that sharp that i will okay it's subcategory i'm pretty lazy so i will copy it out okay i will put it over here so the first attribute is subcategory now the second attribute is icon so let's see some icon which can define antivirus so something like virus 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 to 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 oh this this one okay it acts like a bug bug is virus so let's take this only so okay right and now the third is a helper text I will give it's a bug buddy okay and we will also add else condition so in else we will give the same syntax okay I will just copy paste it out and we will change the icon now not a virus right so something which can define it's not a virus 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 it's something we can show at a verified symbol oh this one icon success okay i will take this one out okay let's take this go to the client script i will change this icon debug to icon su success deep whatever it is success circle and now i will give it safe buddy no virus found okay so it just uh, don't take it intentionally okay means i'm just 
trying to make it um it's just for demo purpose okay don't don't spam my comment saying that oh it's not how you have to treat subcategory okay so <laughs> just on this so now i have added we have added it now let's move to the incident and let's try to see whether it's working or not so i close it out and as we have written a script we have to reload the form out so we have reloaded now let's see let's change it to antivirus and boom a virus icon appeared great if i move to email oh the first one is also there right great so let's we have to remove the first one right so is there a way to remove so we'll give mm -hmm. form dot remove oh we have a remove decoration right so we will give this only and vice versa on the second one okay and here also i will give before setting it let's go to form dot remove decoration and hope it will work i have never tried it out i was not aware that this kind of thing will also happen so let's save let's refresh the page again but it's working okay so that's good news now if i change it to antivirus we got antivirus icon now if i change to email oh perfect so this is how you can add the icons on the on the feed okay now one more thing okay now on the one more additional thing i i want to update is oh uh, by oh, i think from london they have introduced one more additional uh, feature on this api only on this function of the api so it's like you can also change the color of this icons okay so you can pass on the fourth attribute which will define the color of the icon okay so let's try to give it okay so I how to give it is like comma you can give the four color c o l o r color dash you can define the color what you want so for virus i will give it red and for success i will give green dash green okay now let's save and let's see whether it, it changes something on the ui okay i will refresh it or reload it out and now if i change it to antivirus oh wow so beautiful okay and if i change it to email okay i think we missed one thing we have to take the entire argument you have to put it over there so i will take this one enter and i will add it to remove one and then i will take this entire argument and I'll put it to this one save you can find this on the documents also okay on service not docs also it's not present so yeah with the regards to the fourth attribute let's try it once now now it should work if I select antivirus red bug came up okay if I select email yeah the first one gone and the green symbol came up. so this is how you can you can use this decoration to make your form more attractive to impress your clients okay <laughs> so that's what i am doing in my company to impress your clients okay to make it more visible okay based on the criteria this is just an example i've given you can play around it the way you want okay and you make it more uh, user friendly form user friendly right we can say okay so 
this was all and i will try to come up with this kind of trick um, in, the in the intermediate tutorials okay hope you liked it out okay please like follow subscribe if you have some queries just drop the comments and i will reply i'm very active on the replying on the comments okay till then stay safe be happy okay have a nice day thank you